Wix blog tutorial, how to create a blog website on Wix.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with creating your own blog on Wix. So let's get into it. Now signing up on Wix is very simple. All you need to do is enter your email address and a suitable password. Once you do that, you can click on create new site over here and you can begin building your blog. Now, there are two basic ways that you can get started with Wix. So first is their AI website builder where you just enter what kind of you know website you want to create. You can answer a couple of basic questions. Wix will create a website for you and then you can customize it. So that is the first option. The second option is to choose a template. Now, creating a template is usually a lot easier, you know, getting started with a template because you can really visualize what kind of website you're creating. So you can really uh, visualize how your website is going to look like when you are creating a template. But when you're getting started with an AI website, you know, it's easier. It saves you a lot of time if you're not really familiar with design. But if you want a more customized look, then you can get started with the template now within templates you have a couple of blog templates so you have quite a few different options you can pick from there are multiple different pages you can even take like a simple website template and then just enter the blog features if it doesn't have that so if i go into just you know the business insert like let's say i go into the art and illustration template so these are not blogs but i can easily enter the blog feature and create a blog website as well and you also have options such as blank templates over here so if you don't want a prerequisite design which might be used by other people you can get started with a basic layout and you can choose to get started from scratch or just to use a basic layout to get started with your website design so i'm going to go into the blog section and we're going to begin by customizing our blog. I'm going to show you guys how to use the Wix blog and how to build your own blog. So uh, you can see I have a really nice food blog template over here and I really like this. So I'm just going to click on edit over here and this will open up the Wix website editor. Now the Wix website editor is super simple and efficient to use. It's very intuitive and it leads you to be able to customize a lot of things at the click of your mouse because... A lot of the times when you're designing websites with other, uh, you know, website builders or you're using another website service, you know, website building service, they have a very complicated design. So with Wix, it's very simple. So this is the template. Now within your template, the first thing I like to do is click on the top left over here. This shows me all of the pages that are present within the template and I can click on manage pages. This opens up the pages section from over here. This is the site menu. They have category and then they have blog pages. So in here we have multiple different categories. Let's say I don't need these categories. So what I will do is I'll just click on delete over here. And what I will do is I will just delete all of these pages because I don't want them. So I can just click on delete, delete, delete. And then I'm going to make the blog section visible. So you can click on show over here. So now in the site menu, people can click on home about me blog. Now we can go on ahead and begin by adding your own name to your website. And I'm just going to click on edit text. So let's say this is just Jane's food blog. And I can also, you know, change up the size of the font as well. I'm going to select the font. I can make it larger or smaller, however you want to design it. And if you want to move a section, you can just click on it and move it with these orange arrows. Then below that, we have this little picture or a featured blog. And I can click on manage posts over here. And after you add your own posts, you can customize this a little better. But we're going to do that at the end after we have you know finished designing the basic of our website so you can see this is our home page it just features a bunch of blogs now if you want to change this you can just go into your home page so i'm just going to go into my home page this is our home page now this is a uh, very simple and basic now let's say i want to this is like my blog section where it's displaying the blog so i'm just going to shorten this a little and i will move some of the items over here I will shorten the section and I might want to change the blog feed. So I want to shorten the blog feed as well. I want people to be able to see all of, you know, some of my featured or top blogs at the start, but I don't want them to be, you know, dragging through the entire page of just blogs on my homepage. I'm just shortening this section over here like so. So it's not too long. 
and you can see over here we have this section you can make pages in accordance i'm going to remove this so i have just removed this section and now i have this featured image i can just double click on the image click on the image over here this is from the wix pro gallery and i can click on settings and i can click on manage media and then i can choose another image of my own choice instead so i can go on ahead and delete all of these images that i don't want I can delete them and then i can click on add media image and then you can choose to upload your own images or you can even go ahead and search for media from wix so i'm just going to click on add to gallery and i'm going to use this image and replace it over here place image add media click on done now you can see this image has been added instead now i can go on ahead and enter a introductory paragraph and I'm just going to delete this. And after that, you have this little blog section in this template and you have a about me section. In the same way, you can change any of these images in any of this text. And then on the bottom, you have your social media icon. So for that, you can just click on this, click on set social links and then add your own link. So from here, you're just going to link your own Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. You can also add more icons or remove them. Once I've done all of this, I'm going to click on publish. And after that, I'm going to head on over to the actual dashboard so i'm just going to open up the website and now what you're going to do is you're going to head on over back to your wix account and you will be able to see your new website in your my site section so this is our website over here and from here you can click on over here to begin editing the website further uh, and opening up the website editor or you can click on select site over here and once you click on select site this will open up the uh, back end dashboard you could say of your website and from here you can go on ahead and now you can see we have our website dashboard and it says blogs now in your blog section you will have a couple of template blogs that might be added so you have a bunch of templates that you can get started with as well as basic blogging guides that they have you have your create your first blog post show your personal style create your first category so on and so forth so from here you can build your own customized categories within your blog let's say you have a blog about cafes then you have a blog about specific uh cuisines so on and so forth whatever your blog is about so you can categorize your blogs from here and then you can add those categories in your wix site so if you want to write a blog you just go on here click on create post and you can begin writing your blog if you don't want to get started with a you know a totally empty section then you can go back and choose a template so you can go into your blog section going into our overview over here and we can see we have a bunch of different templates so how to recipes ultimate guys and we're going to click on explore all templates so they have a bunch of different templates so this is like a recipe template and then you have how to welcome blogs so on and so forth but i'm just going to show you guys how quickly this works so after that you can also click on tag so you can add certain tags where let's say you have uh, someone is looking for things to eat someone is looking to buy the best brownies in town so you don't want them to have to go through your blog and look at each every single review you've ever written about every bakery because they just want to know about brownies so you can add tags in accordance to the items that you're uh, writing about so you can add a tag and then have a url slug for that as well so uh for creating a blog i'm just going to show you guys a basic way uh, a basic example so i'm just doing a keyboard smash so i'm just going to click on publish this is just like a very bad example but this is just to show you guys once you just write your blog i just entered the title but after that it's going to appear on your website so if i take a look at my wix site over here this is my wix site and if i click on blog over here you can see this is my first blog and if i go on to the home section it is displaying my blog over here as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video